What's good with y'all? It's Cam bringing you the video straight like that. Comment down below if you want to see the next one. Like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Now let's hop right into the video, dog. So listen, the number one issue that men have today is that ultimately they are lonely. You are lonely. When you lay down at night in your bed, you do not have a woman next to you. Ain't no woman in your life besides your mama that cares about you, that's checking on you, that loves you. There's no woman in your life like that. You're all alone. Every time you want to go out somewhere, you ain't got nobody to take a date. You ain't, you ain't have no prom date, no homecoming date, none of that. And that's the issue for a large portion of men across the world. It ain't just you, bro. There's a lot of men out there that's lonely. Because what we have to understand is this dynamic is very simple. Men, we do not get to choose. Women get to choose. They get to choose the pick of the litter. As a man, you have to be chosen by a woman. So therefore, because you have to be chosen, if you are not up to par in a woman's eyes, then you're just going to go lonely. And as we continue to go along, it's only going to get harder and harder and harder for you as a man to become chosen. That is why you are lonely. And now what this produces is a bunch of men who now are craving a woman. And it goes one of two ways. Either you start craving Oh, I want to get with multiple women. I want to have a rotation of girls. Or you start saying, I want a girlfriend. Well, I'm going to be honest with you right now. Neither one is really going to help you in your situation. You're going to be lonely either way. You're going to be lonely either way. Because the truth of the matter is that you don't want to actually have a girlfriend because you desire a family and relationship. Well, you do, but that's not the reason why you are looking for the relationship. That's not the reason why. That's not what you're looking for. You're not looking for a woman with wifey, a wife qualities. You're so lonely that you're willing to get with whoever. You're willing to get with the girl that just shows you a little bit of attention. That's why so many modern day relationships don't work. That's why you end up in a relationship with a girl and all of a sudden she does you wrong. How did this happen? Where did this come from? All the red flags were already there. You decided to look over them because you were so lonely and so down on yourself that you lowered your standards and got with this woman who clearly was not good for you. And this is what happens with most relationships, not some, not a handful, most. And it's not just little high school relationships or college relationships. I'm talking about relationships. I'm even talking about marriages sometimes. Sometimes people can be married and they can end up, I'm with the wrong person. Now they got to face with all these problems, all these problems. And then the other route where guys want to have, I want to have multiple women. I want to have all these girls. All that's going to do is just leave you more unfulfilled. It's going to leave you more unfulfilled, bro. Because having a connection with nobody is is better than having a a fake connection with a bunch of people because when you have a fake connection with a bunch of people all you have is a bunch of shared experiences that amounts to absolutely nothing zero value what do you gain out of having multiple girls what do you really gain out of that you call yourself a high value man what exactly do you get out of sleeping with multiple women nothing nothing worth your time nothing worth value and then you look back and you realize that everything that you did to get these multiple women you know you bought out the section in the club and you you know what i mean you you worked your magic you know what i'm saying you spit mad game at the party all of that was for nothing it was pointless because it led to nothing you got your nut off woohoo you might as well have just sit in the bed and watch the hub same thing you just got your nut off no connection no value no long-term relationship. But either way you go, you're going to end up being more lonely than if you were single. Especially if you're in a relationship. Because the reason why is because nowadays in modern relationships, you are not dating for the right reasons. You are dating women because you think she looks attractive. You're dating women because, oh, she makes me feel some type of way. Let me tell you something about feelings. Feelings can change in an instant. Understand that oh, oh I'm, I'm in the moment, in the moment, you're not thinking about your future. You're not thinking about what is this woman going to be like today, years and years down the line. Can I have kids with this woman? Can I bring this woman home? You're not thinking about that. You're thinking about in the moment. Let me tell you something about the moment. The moment is fleeting. Things can change quickly. And when you rely on the moment and you don't think about what's coming down the line, that's when you mess up. That's when you miss those red flags. 
And guess what? This is, it, it might seem like this is simple logic, but this is something that men do not pick up on, especially when you're lonely. The lonelier you, you are, the more you are willing to just be in the moment. A girl gives you a little bit of attention. You immediately jump onto her. Then you get overly attached to a woman that is quite frankly not good for you. I'm just being honest with y'all, man. You have to, have to, have to start screening these women that you get with. Does she have wifely qualities? Y'all rushing into these relationships because you're so afraid of being alone. Oh, I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone. You're really not, bruh. Why do you think that you need somebody else so bad all the time? Having someone else is a good thing. But gosh, dang, bruh. Slow down for a second. Be cool with yourself first. A lot of y'all, fellas, y'all don't even know yourself. Y'all, you don't even know who you are. You haven't explored. You, you ain't done nothing. You don't have no hobbies, no nothing. But you talking about you want a girlfriend. Talking about you want a girlfriend. You ain't even left high school yet. You ain't even left middle school yet. You ain't even finished the, 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 the test you got to take tomorrow, the finals. You ain't even finished your finals. You talking about you want a girlfriend, bro. You have other things that you need to tend to before you think about having a, a, a girlfriend and a woman. Let's take it a step further. If you really want to have a successful, healthy relationship, you have to be a strong man. You have to be a masculine man. What does that mean? You have to be able to protect and provide. Financially, are you straight? Are you stable financially? Are you emotionally good? Because as the man, you're supposed to be the rock. You can't be swaying side to side. You know what I mean? <laughs> Crying off. You got to be the rock emotionally. Are you ready for that? Are you are you mentally, are you good? Because you can't be checked in some days and checked out other days. You can't be, oh, I wanted this girl, oh, but I also want this girl and this girl and that girl. That's only going to lead to a bad relationship. This is all because you, you base who you want to be in a relationship off of worldly things and worldly things only. I understand that physical attraction is important. Having an emotional attachment is also important. But understanding if they are a good person to be in a relationship with is probably the most important thing. And it's the thing that people don't check off of. They don't check that off the list. They let it go by. You let it go by because you're so caught up in the moment. That's your issue. That is your problem. And then you get into these relationships not even thinking about marriage. You're supposed to be dating to marry if I'm being honest with you. You're supposed to date to marry. That's the whole point of, of, of dating. Because ask yourself this question. What is the point in being in a relationship if you don't see a future with somebody? What is the point of a short-term relationship? It's just a waste of time. It's a, if, you don't see, if you have a partner right now and you don't see yourself having a future together, I'm talking about years, years down the line, getting married to that woman, then why are you with her? Why are you with them? Because she makes me feel good. I enjoy her company. Okay, and if you don't see a future with her, then it's pointless. Oh, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what, we just gonna see what happens. I don't know. It's always, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You're not dating with purpose. And that's exactly why your relationship goes awry. Because if you don't know where you gonna go, then how are you supposed to set boundaries? How are you supposed to know what path your relationship is gonna take? If you don't know if you're gonna have a future or not, then how is you supposed to know exactly what the relationship is supposed to be? Let me explain what let me explain that, bro. If I know that I'm gonna have a future with the woman I'm with, then I know I need to set certain boundaries. Okay, ain't gonna be no male best friends, ain't gonna be none of this, none of that. But if you don't even know if you want a future with this woman, then why are you telling her, oh, oh, it's gotta be this, 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 and that? You don't even know if you wanna be with her tomorrow or the next day or the next week or the next month. So if you don't know, then you don't know where to go. You don't know what boundaries to set because it's all for nothing. It would all just be pointless. Why should she listen to you and submit to you when you're not even confident in having a future with this woman? Now she's thinking, okay, well, what if somebody else come along? What if you ain't even the one? And women ain't the innocent. And women are innocent of this either, bro. It's a lot of women that do the same thing. They don't date to marry. They date the, they, they, they date the guy that, that, that throw the most money at them or make them feel good. And they the same way. I don't know if I want to marry him. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all thinking in the moment. And all that's going to do is lead to unsure relationships. Why do you think people is cheating so much? Cheating is becoming a regular occurrence. Why do you think that's the case? It's because people don't date with purpose. People date because they just don't want to be lonely. 
You so you so caught up and I don't want to be alone. I just want to have somebody by my side. Now you don't care who by your side. Whole, whole time you sleeping with a demon. Whole time you got a succubus in your bed. And you don't even know it. That's the problem. This is the thing about relationships. It is better to be single to, than to be in a bad relationship. The first relationship you've ever been in. Think about it. Think about the first relationship you have ever been in. You had an innocence about you. I was just talking to my boy Los about this today. You have an innocence about you at the beginning or in your first relationship. And the reason why is because in your first relationship, y'all thought that y'all was going to be together forever. And then something happened. One of you hurt the other ones. I was talking to my homie about this today. And then one of y'all is broken. You become broken because that girl cheated on you or she played you or whatever. Now, now that's when you become lonely. Now that's when you truly become, oh man, I'm lost. Oh man, none of these girls are good. It's because you gave what you were supposed to give to your wife to some random girl that you just thought was cute for a little bit and you overlooked the red flags. You gave away your innocence. You gave away the feeling that you're supposed to have with your wife. Understand that when you get in a relationship with somebody, that first relationship, those feelings that you had, that attachment that you had, you know what I'm saying? That was supposed to be for the one you were supposed to be with for your whole life. That's how it's supposed to go. But it ain't going to go like that no more because you chose the wrong one. You chose the wrong woman. You chose a woman that don't got God in her. You chose a woman that's been around the block. She's for the streets. And now that you're broken, now, now now you got a whole host of issues. You either go the simp route, now you getting with multiple women that's just playing you over and over and over again. And you're continuing to try and find happiness in places where it ain't no happiness, bro. Because after that first relationship, you just lose more and more and more and more and more feelings. I remember seeing a meme years ago where it was like, what happened? It, it was like, like when you get out of your first relationship, dude was bawling, ah, crying. And then it said, after your 10th relationship, and bro was good. Oh, I'm all right. You know what? That speaks volumes. It speaks volumes because it shows that in every relationship that you have after that first one, you just, you, you got less and less and less and less and less feelings. And you're less and less and less happy every single time. And you're always going to be unsatisfied searching for that fulfillment. Always going to be unsatisfied because you're just going from person to person to person to person to person. You're not really looking for a good woman or you think you're finding these good women. You, 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 you think so. But you don't even know what a good woman is. So you continuing to just be lost and you're just walking around. Oh, like a zombie. Ah, I'm just kind of free falling. If you have never been in a relationship and you've never had a girlfriend, hold on to that. I don't care. Oh, people make fun of me. I don't care. If you're a virgin, if you got no relationship experience, hold on to that. Learn what it is to be in a good relationship. And it's all in the Bible. Go read it. Go read the Bible. It has good relationship advice. The ultimate relationship advice. See, a lot of people, Cam, you so wise. I'm not wise. God is wise. All this is from the Bible. Go read it. Learn what it is to love. Learn what it is to be loved. Learn what it is to have a good woman. Learn what a traditional relationship is supposed to go like. Learn all these things and then make an informed decision on who you should be with. So that you can have a healthy relationship and a long-term relationship instead of all these little short-term relationships where you're just chasing happiness, chasing happiness, chasing happiness, chasing fulfillment. You're chasing nothing, bro, because you ain't ever going to get there. You ain't never going to get there, ever. You ain't never going to get there because you're not abiding by the right principles. Everything that you do is worldly. Even when even when you get even when you get the right woman, you getting in a relationship with the right woman, and then you doing things like you continuing to post thirst traps on Instagram, or you continuing to look at other women, you continuing to to, to to do these things because you're not satisfied. And the reason you're not satisfied is because you do not know God, and you're just doing things so that you don't have to feel lonely. That's ultimately what it is. That is the ultimate problem right there protect your innocence protect that feeling that you have fellas understand this there's a there's a term called an imprint in the in the red pill community the imprint is basically saying that any girl she will never forget her first she will never forget the first guy that she slept with and this is true same thing goes for men 
You will never you will never forget your first. Ever. You will never forget your first. Understand that that wasn't meant to be that random chick that you met. Understand that. That was supposed to be the woman that you were supposed to have kids with. Yeah, you messed up. You messed up when you gave that away. And then you want to talk about, I'm so lonely, I'm so lonely, I'm so lonely. Well, the reason you're so lonely is because now that you've had that toxic experience, now that you gave away your innocence, now that you now that you are, are versed or experienced in a failed relationship, you're lonely. And not only are you lonely, but you're also lost because you don't even know what a healthy relationship looks like. And I don't blame you because there's a lot of false info out there. There's a lot of people, healthy relationship look like this and this and this and that. It's a lot of false info out there. Only God can give you the answers, though. Only God can give you the answers. It's very, very simple. A relationship is very, very simple. As a man, again, you are supposed to protect and provide for your woman. The woman is supposed to submit to the man. That's how it's supposed to go. Both of you are supposed to commit to each other. You're not supposed to be engaging with other people, with other women, or with other, and she's not supposed to be with other men. Right, she shouldn't be. Ain't, ain't ain't no ain't no ain't no texting, texting your ex or nothing. None of that. All of that is out. All of that is out. And I think the biggest reason why people fail at this part is because, again, not only are you not finding good women, but because when you're in those relationships, you're so whipped that you will literally allow anything to happen. You're so whipped because you live a worldly lifestyle. You allow Coochie to control you. You allow her looks to control you as a man. And because you're allowing her looks to control you, you're not seeing the fact that this relationship is going down the drain very fast. Very, very fast. So in basically 17 minutes, I've just explained to you why modern relationships don't work. So with that being said, what I want y'all to do is this. I want y'all to reflect on the previous relationships that you've been in. I want you to reflect on the previous women that you have slept with. And I want you to understand that unless that's your wife, unless you are with the same person to this day, you have made a mistake. But understand this, that mistake does not define you. You can be reborn. Go find the Lord, go follow Christ, be reborn, and understand that you can still find somebody that is good. You can still have a good relationship with a woman. But y'all both got to have the Lord in you. And guess what? If you find somebody that got God in her, guess what? You're going to have them same feelings as that first relationship. You're going to feel the same as, as when you lost your, your, your V card. It's going to feel the exact same. Because now it's going to be the right way. It's not going to be some toxic stuff. It's not going to be, oh, I just went with her because of this and this and that. Well, Cam, how do I find a good woman? Extend your talking stages. Y'all being talking that y'all getting relationships so quick, back to back to back to back to back. Bro, extend your talking stages. All right? Instead of just talking to her for a week or two weeks, bro, start talking to her for five months, six months, seven months, eight months. Guaranteed the relationship will last a lot longer. But we don't like that because we don't like being alone. Stop being afraid of being alone. Embrace being single. Embrace it. Because the longer you're single, the longer you get to work on yourself. And the better relationship you get to find with your soul and the Lord. And the better you know the Lord, bro, all things going to go uphill at that point, bro. That's all I got for y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I love y'all. I'm out of here, man. Peace.